Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm super excited to be a part of the Team Tiny Scrappy Boy Stamps video hop where members of the Team Tiny Facebook group will be sharing projects using products from Scrappy Boy Stamps. The owner, Sean, is sponsoring this giveaway hop and is offering a free stamp and die set of your choice to one lucky winner. So stay tuned to find out how to enter. Now for my project, I created an interactive snow globe card using the products that you see here. This card features the Coffee Girls stamp set by Scrappy Boy Stamps, and it has these fun images and characters from the show Gilmore Girls. There's lots of sentiments or sayings from the show, such as you jump, I jump, Jack, coffee please, and I'm afraid once your heart is involved, it all comes out in moron. And there's lots of others too, but there's Lorelai and Rory and Luke, and I think her name is Sookie. And I'll be using the sentiment, I smell snow. And also the stamp that says Stars Hollow, which is where the show takes place. It also has some cute smaller images like this little coffee cup and the sign for Luke's Diner. So there's a ton of different things you can do with this set. I also used the Magic Iris dies with the Snow Globe add-on by Lawn Fawn to create this wintry scene. Plus I used one of the sheets here from this Echo Park paper pad called Winter Magic. And I'll just quickly thumb through these and show you the papers that come in this pad. I know it's kind of hard to see all of the little tiny patterns on camera, but the one that I'm going to use, it kind of has like a bokeh dots pattern all over it. And it reminds me of what a snow globe looks like when you shake it up. And the back side has these cut aparts and I'll probably use the other sheet that's like this. I'll use the cut aparts on it when I cut up and use the rest of this paper pad. Now I plan on using it with the ephemera to create a set of 17 cards using my card challenge number four. So stay tuned for that coming soon. And if you're not familiar with that, with my challenge, I will post a link up above and in the description box below. So if you're up for making cards with pattern paper, it's a lot of fun. So I tore out a blue sheet of pattern paper, but I ended up using something else and you'll see that here shortly. But let me go ahead and explain and tell you what I did off camera. I used the Magic Iris dies and the Snow Globe add-on to cut out the pieces. I used heavyweight cardstock to cut out the three white circles. And then on the third circle, I placed the insert piece in the center and I ran that through my die cut machine again to cut out the notches. And then I cut out three of the stabilizer pieces and then the handle piece. And then I'll cut the little arrow out later. I, but I used the piece of pattern paper to cut out the three sausage looking pieces plus the snow globe outer piece here. And then I took a piece of wood grain scrap paper to cut out the base of the snow globe. And then I cut along the edge so that that would line up properly. And then I used the die strips with the ridges and I cut out two decorative pieces out of some shimmery textured blue-gray cardstock. And we'll put all this together shortly, but first I wanted to add some ink to the outside edges of this snow globe. So I'm using some Simon Hurley's Midnight Snack ink to um, add to the edges with my Pink and Main Ergonomic Blending Brush. This is like a navy blue color. And I did the same thing for all three sausage pieces as well. So now let me tell you how to enter the giveaway. You just simply comment on each of the videos in the hop and to locate the next video in the hop, you'll wanna click on the hashtag that's in the title below. Now we're gonna take the sausage pieces and place the ends inside of the notches and line up the curve of the sausage with the curve of the circle. And there are three X marks on the ends of each sausage piece. And this is where you're gonna place many glue dots right on top of the X. And you'll do this for all three X's. I'm just using my reverse tweezers to try to get these glue dots off of here. They're super sticky, but they work well for this. But I wanted to mention you have until November 6th of 2021 to enter the giveaway and the winner will be announced on the Scrappy Boy Stamps Inspiration Group on Facebook shortly after. So be sure to click on the link in the description box below to join the group so you don't miss the announcement. So you wanna make sure everything is lined up and then place one of the solid circles on top, attaching it to those glue dots. 
Then we're gonna flip the magic iris over and we're gonna get a tape runner out and we're gonna add tape from those perforated lines where the stabilizers will go all the way to the edge of the circle in a straight line. Then we're gonna take each of the stabilizer pieces and we're gonna place them on top of the adhesive, lining up the curve of, a, of the stabilizer piece with the curve of the inner circle. And you'll attach all three of the stabilizers. And then once, once everything is on there straight, <laughs> you'll wanna flip the magic iris back over You'll then take the tab piece or the handle, whatever you call this little thing, and you, you pick one of the stabilizers and you line the tab up just to the right of that stabilizer, making a V. So what you wanna do is you'll wanna add some more tape runner adhesive and then attach it, making sure to line up the curve of the tab with the curve of the inner circle and it'll be just to the right of that stabilizer piece. Then you'll take the other plain circle and lay that on top and add some tape runner adhesive on top of those stabilizer pieces and then bend them over, lightly hugging them around the edge of the circle. And you'll notice that the stabilizer pieces won't go all the way around and touch the inner part of the circle. And that's what we want. It needs to be a little loose so that the mechanism will have space to work. You'll press those down and make sure that they're all nice and secure and then you can test out the mechanism. And I know that this moves freely. So next I'm gonna, I'm taking this Gur ink and this is also by Simon Hurley and it's a brown color. And I'm blending this on the ends of this wood grain piece to give it the shadow on the edges of the base of my snow globe. I glued down the top textured strip piece using some art glitter glue. And before attaching the bottom one, I wanted to stamp on the base of the snow globe and I'm using the stars hollow stamp from that stamp set and an acrylic block and even though the stamp doesn't quite fit on here that bottom piece will cover up the founded by part of it but I'm stamping this um, with that same midnight snack ink that I used earlier by Simon Hurley and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the bottom piece and Next, I took one of the stitched circle pieces that I cut out from the middle of the Magic Iris piece earlier, and I'm stamping the sentiment, I smell snow on the circle using my Misty stamping platform. And the reason I decided to use that instead of an acrylic block is just in case I needed to stamp it again, but I didn't need to. But just to add a little bit more interest to what's gonna be shown with the mechanism whenever it opens, I decided to add three of the snowflakes onto that circle. And then in order to give the outer part of the snow globe some sparkle, I'm splattering some white shimmer spray to give it the look of snow. And then I also painted some of it directly onto the snowflakes on that circle. Next, I stamped three of the main characters on a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock using my Misty stamping platform. And I used Gina K Black Amalgam ink and then I colored all of them using my Copic markers and I fussy cut it off camera. And I'll put the colors that I used in the description box below. Now I've taken a sheet of gray paper with glittery snow specks from this 12 by 12 paper pad that I bought at Michael's. And this is called White Christmas. And I cut that down to four and a half by six and a half inches. And then I cut a mat out of some textured bluish gray cardstock, which measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So for my card base, I'm using one of these pearlized A7 card bases. Now I wanted this scene to have some snow across the bottom. So I took this wavy slimline die and I used another pearlized card base to cut this out. And then I glued that to the bottom of the card. Now on the snow globe, there's these little cutouts on the top left corner and I wanted those to be shiny like the card base. So I decided to cut out another snow globe and I just used those little tiny pieces and I inserted that into the holes and glued those in. Now I'm gonna add the snow globe to the Magic Iris piece using some Nouveau Deluxe liquid adhesive. And then um, to attach the snow globe to the card, I'm adding some foam tape just to the backs of the stabilizer pieces. And then I'm adding a double layer of foam strips along the bottom of the base of the snow globe. 
Also, I cut out the decorative piece with the arrow that shows how to pull down the handle out of that same pattern paper. And then I ink blended the edges just like I did on the snow globe. And then I cut out the little arrow out of that textured cardstock. Now before I attach the snow globe to the card, I need to glue the stitch circle piece that goes inside the globe to the base of the card. And so in order for me to do that, um, I want to make sure that I have it centered and lined up so correctly. I'm just making sure that I have enough room for Lorelei and Luke to be on the left hand side and then Rory to fit on the right side of the snow globe. And once I had everything in place, I traced the circle piece where it should go. I traced that with a pencil and then glued that down. And then I removed all of the adhesive backing from the foam tape and I lined this up and placed it on top. I added some foam tape to the back of my characters that'll be on the left side of the snow globe. And then I attached those down. And then next I glued Rory directly onto the snow globe using some liquid glue. And I'm just making sure that the mechanism still works properly. And so I just wanna add a little bit of glue only on the right side on the back so that the glue's not in the way and it won't get stuck to the, the sliding pieces. I drew a shadow underneath the characters using Copic Marker N0, which is a very light gray. And then I placed the snowflakes that I cut out earlier from the snow globe add-on. I placed those all over and glued those down. And then to make it a little bit more shiny, I added some ice glaze stickles on top. And then I added some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew to the character's eyes and also to the coffee pot in Luke's hand. This dries clear, so it just gives it a little bit of extra interest. And then I added some more ice glaze stickles to the snowflakes on the inner circle piece. And then this pretty much finishes off my card. I really hope you like it. If so, click the thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment so you can be entered to win the giveaway. Now, Scrappy Boy Stamps is a new company and their awesome products can be purchased at the Scrapbook Expo store. And I'll link that below in the description box. So I hope you'll check it out. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. To find the next video in the hop, you'll want to click on the hashtag in the description box, Team Tiny Scrappy Boy Stamps Hop. This will pull up all of the videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.